Hello everyone, welcome back to Yoga by Stephanie Mia. I'm hoping that the sound quality is better. So we invested in the channel a little bit, so I'm hoping that this kind of eases the external burden of the background noise and you can hear me clearly. Anyway, let's get into the routine. So today is all about flexibility of the spine, mobility of the spine, trying to get you moving. I apologize, I'm a bit excited. Okay, so when you're ready to get into something super comfy, we're going to get right into the routine. Yes? Okay, great. Meet me down here on your mat. You're going to come onto all fours, tabletop position. And you're going to extend your knees as well as your yoga mat. Bring your big toes to touch and send the hips back nice starting off nice and slow drop the head inhale and exhale and in and oh good job bring it back up nice you're gonna do some cat curls here keeping the knees wide drop the belly look ahead exhale curve through the spine drop the belly look ahead of you exhale curve through the spine keep going nice out and in nice you're going to do some spinal waves you're going to tuck your bottom curve through your shoulders and upper back and then reverse that motion so tuck your bottom Push your bottom up and then tuck your bottom. Roll through the shoulders. Tuck your bottom up. Tuck your bottom down. And have an articulation in your shoulders. Shoulders drawing away from the air so there's space between your neck and shoulders. Keep it going for three. Keep it going for two. And keep it going for one. Good job. Sit back on your heels, you walk your palms to center, open up through the arms, cactus arms. Make a circle, open up again through cactus arms, really curving the spine, bring them down. Open up once again, cactus arms, bringing them down. Last one, open up, cactus arms. Nice, let's come to tabletop once again. This time, bring the knees underneath your hips. Wrist in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips. Curl the toes under, send the hips up and back. Nice job. We're going to pedal the legs here. Right, left, right, left. Keep it going. Right, inhale, exhale, left, right left okay then how about to swing to the body sway the spine gonna feel a little bit like um a snake fluid keep it going pedal the legs move your spine not so much on how it looks or how you think it looks more how it feels massaging the spine here bearing some weight into your arms arm strengthening pedaling the legs Having some stretch in your hamstrings, quads are engaged, good job. Send the hips up and back. Bring the heels to the back of the mat. Nice. Come back to all fours. Good job. Extend the palms out in front of you. Drop the chest to the mat. Drop your head to the mat. Nice. From here, you're going to lift the right hand up and twist it along so it kind of hugs your hip crease. It can be here at your back as well, but if you can extend to reach the hip crease, lovely. And then you're going to bend the left elbow and look up towards your right. Nice. Have a nice stretch. Open up through the chest and reverse it. Come back down to look underneath your armpit. Inhale and exhale. Look back up to your right. And reverse it. Come back down. 
Good job. Last time. Inhale. Look up. And exhale, come back down. Nice, extend both arms in front of you, drop your head here. Really bring your chest towards the mat, extending that puppy pose even further. Nice. All right, team on the other side, bring your right elbow to bend as you take your left hand up and across, hugging that hip crease right here lovely exhale look towards the sky or the ceiling inhale look underneath your armpit mobilizing the spine really reaching here exhale look towards the sky inhale and exhale good job unravel with care gently and then come back dropping your hips to your heels coming into hip width apart child's pose you want to take your wrist in child's pose you're gonna come back by walking the palms to your center keeping the knees as wide as your yoga mat you're gonna inhale open up through cactus arms pushing the chest towards the front of the room or the front of your yard opening up here shoulders squeezing at the back exhale and inhale really go for it and exhale inhale remember this is your personal practice to do as you please with what feels good lovely nice job let's come back to tabletop this time bring the knees under your hips as you drop the belly inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and in and out and in and oh it's gonna start with the spinal wave tucking the bottom rounding through the shoulders lifting the hips up dropping the belly shoulders together shoulders apart tuck the bottom under shoulders together drop the belly bring the hips up keep flowing or if you need to you can just mimic my movements until you get the hang of it and the more you do it it's the more natural it will feel the easier it will become good job curl the toes under send the hips up and back downward facing dog pedal the legs right and left drop the head right and left right let's try something a little bit different let's try the spinal wave in downward facing dog so don't say you can't do it yet so the same motion where you round through the spine drop your belly send the hips up and repeat the same thing you did for cat cow it's the same thing you're doing here just focus on what feels good bend the knees Bend the knees to give yourself more room to move. That's it. Three, two, and the one. Come back to tabletop. And once we are back into tabletop, and you have your knees underneath your hips, extend your palms out in front of you and drop your chest to the mat. Puppy pose. Nice inhale and exhale and in and out nice okay once you have that and feel comfortable bend your right elbow as we lift the left hand up and over nice lodging that in our right hip crease good job as we turn our body to face underneath our armpits exhale and inhale 
Lift up, look to the sky, exhale, look down, and inhale, look up to the sky, and exhale, back down. Nice. Bring both forearms onto the mat. Quick little interlude, curl the toes under, send the hips up and back. Nice, you're in a dolphin pose, a strong, sweet dolphin pose. Inhale and exhale and in and exhale. Lift the heels a little bit higher, push the hips up even further. Nice, good job. All right, come back, knees back onto the mat. You're gonna bend, keep your left forearm bent as you lift up and over, bringing your right hand to lodge in your left hip crease. Exhale, look through your armpits. Inhale, look to the sky. Exhale, through your armpit. Inhale, look to the sky. Good job. Bring both palms back on the mat. Come back up into your tabletop. Curl the toes under. Send the hips up and back. Good job. Bring the heels as close to the mat as possible. Bring your chest to the top of your thighs. Stretch through. Drop your head. Nice stretch in the hamstring here. Good job. We're here for four. We're here for three, we're here for two, and one, good job, nice. Come back to all fours, come to sit on your heels, bring your palms to your thighs, close your eyes, inhale, and out, and in, and out, nice. Take a moment here, 10 seconds, just sit in silence. Check in with your body, check in with how you're feeling. Especially if you have a busy day, or if you have had a busy day. If this is you being selfish and carrying out the time that you need for yourself, I say take 15 more seconds. I want to thank you for joining me in practice once again. I hope you took what you needed from this class, nothing more. It is designed to help you mobilize your spine, especially if you sit all day, especially if you've had some back ailments in the past. This is a great gentle practice. If you couldn't do some things, that's okay. Leave what you can, take what you can. Thank you for joining me again. It is absolutely an honor and pleasure. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Thank you.